committee has reached a verdict. The defendant will rise. Jordan Orwell, you have been found guilty of three counts of murder in the first degree. Do you have anything to add to the record before sentence is passed? I didn't harm anybody. The security forces set off that explosive. Senator Taylor, distinguished judges, please let the record reflect that the defendant displays absolutely no remorse for his actions. So noted, Mr. Medina. One day the people will rise up against you. They will realize what you're doing to the system. Enough of your paranoid ramblings. Step back. George Norwell, the following sentence is to be carried out immediately. You are sentenced to be shot by a firing squad. You are sentenced to be electrocuted by 500,000 volts of electricity. And you're sentenced to be beheaded. Where are your rebel comrades now? Administer the sedative. Sedative flowing. Ah, monitoring brain activity. Last one? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear you say that.
This one won't be bombing any more airports. Lines. Shower on. Hundred and twelve degrees. TV on. This Tuesday, elect Felix Medina for a safe and well-ordered society until better times arrive. Rioting has broken out in Sector 7 once again as food shortages continue. Government rationing programs have helped to alleviate the crisis and officials promise a swift conclusion to the turmoil. In local news, underground terrorist Jor Norwell died yesterday after his sentence of three virtual executions was carried out. Federal prosecutor and presidential candidate Felix Medina promised a renewed attack on the subversive rebel movement, vowing that the upcoming elections would not be postponed, as proposed by Senator Zachary Powell. We cannot let these cowardly things dictate how we switch the phone link. Call Simon. Simon, you there? No. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. Like hell. Hey, did you see the news? Yeah. Jeez, nobody ever got more than two executions before. Yeah, well, nobody's ever caught those assholes red-handed before. Three innocent people. I say they should give them more than they got. Well, he said he didn't mean for anybody to get hurt. Didn't mean... Minnow, the guy walks into a crowded airport with enough plastic to blow up a ten-story building. I don't think he was there to catch the red eye. Yeah, I know, but three times it just seems kind of excessive. Well, nobody's comfortable with it. But these losers have got to realize that they can't get away with this bullshit anymore. I say, give the same treatment to all of them. Geez, Simon, been eating a little too much red meat lately? Probably just slept wrong. Well, don't pay any attention to me. Yeah, well, try switching to decaf. I'll see you at work. TV off. I think I saw a rebel over there. <laughs> yeah. 
Right. Come on, ladies, let's get started. Yes, sir. Yep, nice try, guys. You left your back door wide open. Find anything about Jor? No, just the usual bullshit propaganda. Come here, I want to show you something. Take a look. What's wrong with that picture? There's four blue strands and one yellow one. That's right, because it doesn't belong there. It was added later. What is it? Well, someone has been uploading terabytes of information into the resort system software, but uh, I don't know what the hell it is or what it does. You logged on to the resort? But how'd you get in? That was easy. I wrote their security codes for them when I worked there. The idiots still haven't changed them. But Jorah was right. Someone at the resort is up to something. It's too bad he had to die for us to find out. Lorraine? Never forget what Hemingway once said. The world is a fine place and worth fighting for. Mick, I really... You really what? I really believe in our work. That means a lot to me. So do you. Well, I better shut down before they track me. <clears throat> Welcome to the resort. A facilitator will be with you shortly. Experience Safari where you can hunt and kill extinct species of wildlife. Afterlife allows you to visit a lost loved one, or settle an old score. Or for settling even bigger scores, try Judgment Day, where you get to play judge, jury, and executioner. And then there's Candy, who can take you to erotic heights of passion beyond your wildest imagination. If you're under 13, you will need a V-chip override pass from your parents for candy. Thank you for visiting the resort. Why are those security Nazis suddenly recording everything we do? Why do they have to stick their noses in our business? They weren't breastfed. They have small genitals. They're losing their hair. Who cares? They should just stick to harassing citizens and leave us to our work. Hey, what about that guy Lewis coming in later today? Did you figure out a way to bypass the damaged cortex? Forget it. It's not possible. I don't know. I know, please. Don't get any ideas. The last time you messed around with the cerebral regulator, we lost power for over an hour. I know. Won't happen again. He said just before he blew up the whole building. Guys, you gotta come and see this. Cal, what'd you do this time? It's my best yet. Come on. <laughs> What the hell did you do this guy? Hook his balls up to the generator? Watch the monitor. He jacked in for a date with Candy. You know that premium spank program? So, half the guys that come here ask for Candy. Yeah, well, I found out this guy stole somebody else's resort card. He's already used up his government allotment. Well, you know the procedure. Write him up. I thought I would get creative and try and punish him myself. I pulled this photo of his wife out of his wallet. I scanned the photo, re-entered new coordinates, and viola. Oh, what's the matter, Milton? Aren't you enjoying yourself? Yeah, but I thought I saw someone back there. 
배 젠쯤쯤이 미 My fantasy. <laughs> I'm going to make you sorry you ever laid eyes on that pussy. <laughs> I'm going to make you sorry you ever laid anything at all. <laughs> Do you find the prospect of unemployment amusing, gentlemen? <laughs> Isn't there anything you can do for me? Sir, you have had a stroke. You have residual nerve damage, not to mention the fact that you haven't provided us with a photograph, video, or anatomy scans. I don't know anything about all that. I was told you people are professionals. Uh, can't you help me? I'm sorry, but the rules Nurse, say... Th that will be all. But I am only doing my... That will be all. Now, where were we? I want to be reunited with someone. There was a girl when I was young. We were sweethearts. I lost her during the war. I've missed her every day of my life. Why didn't you ever try to find her? Never underestimate the power of cowardice, young man. You put one foot in front of the other, and before you know it, you walked a mile, and another, and another. By then, you're so far away from what you really want, it only seems real when you close your eyes. I guess you're right about that. And by then, you're in a fancy computer palace, begging for a piece of your past that you threw away. This means everything to me. Give me five minutes. I've been known to work some magic around here. If it doesn't work, thank you for trying. work. You can't bypass damaged nerves. I said it won't work. How do you know? Because those coordinates have never been used before. I'm experimenting with some new client-induced projection routines. We're not in the business of torturing elderly patients by raising their hopes. You're going on report. I'm all broken up. You don't mind if I turn you in? No. I'm sure you won't mind if I tell the committee about that fantasy session you took last week. How many people you kill in that shooting spree? 30, 40, 50? My personal life is none of your business. And if you think that you can intimidate me... Get out of my light. Get back to work. You're going to see a glowing red spot in the corner of your line of vision. I want you to get that spot into the center and then concentrate on your object's face. Um, if my calculations are correct, your mind should assert control over um, our electronic invasion and replace the spot with your sweetheart. I know her face better than my own. And I guess there's nothing left to say except give her a kiss for me. Breathe deeply. That's it. 
Concentrate. Focus. Focus on her. Is it really you? That's it. Don't grab yourself. Grab her. It's been such a long time. I've missed you so much. I've loved you every single day. Say so, sir. Press coverage of your handling of the trial was superb. Kudos to you for yet another triumph. Careful, Bennett. Your ambition is showing. My apologies, sir. What's the status of our little election day surprise? We're on schedule, sir. Security inspectors are uploading the queues daily. Resort techs think we're auditing them. Good, good. Another 48 hours and it will all be over. And nobody will suspect a thing. Unless McDurf and his minions decide to stir things up. Give me Moyer and Sims. Maybe it's time to stir Durf up. Where's Durf now? He's in the safe house. Hasn't been out for days. What's he up to? He's been jacking into the system. Mostly he's just sniffing around. Like a dog. The surveillance phase is over. Durf's always wanted to be a martyr. See to it he's not disappointed. And keep it quiet. Schedule a press conference for later today. When we land the big fish, we need to be sure that everyone knows about it. made that old man's day, but you don't get any credit for it on the worksheet. Since when? He's right. Unsanctioned procedures don't qualify. You get zero points for today's session. You see, that's the problem with this system. It should encourage ingenuity, not just marking time. Well, thank you very much. And I've got 4,600 points in my file just for marking time. You know what I mean. This system is capable of so much more than we're doing with it. We could be helping people with real problems. Kids with disabilities. Wait, wait, what are you, running for office? This place makes mind candy, not miracle cures. If you don't want to play by their rules, Access maybe you should go great. back to research and development. Half the points, twice the weight, no thanks. Access. 
best friend. What do you just shut up and do exactly as I say? You're hurt. Does this booth have memory login capabilities? Well, I, I. Yes or no? Yeah, of course. What's the capacity? A yeah, hundred gigs with fifty on override. Juice it up. Mick, Mick, don't do this. Okay, turn yourself in. They'll put you right back to work. They haven't even updated the system since you've been gone. Why do you think I left this party, Menno? This place is turning people into a bunch of mind. You okay? Hurry. You can boot up with that. Wow, this is one of these new super density things, huh? Cool. Come on, just plug me in and turn it on. Look, Mick, if they catch me in here with you, I'm a baked potato. You know that. This isn't about you, Menno. It's bigger than that. Just do it. And hurry, please. Just give me a few seconds. Bypassing primary systems port. Hey, this is amazing. Did you do this? The wire. Plug it in. Okay. Switch it on. What about the anesthesia? I'm dying. Switch it on. Okay. It's the only way. They have to be stopped. Don't. Thanks for breaking my computer. Thanks for dying in my booth. Free! No problem. Honestly, I barely knew the guy when he worked here. And I haven't seen him since, except for today. And he just decided to show up in your booth. Out of all the booths in the building. Security said he snuck in the back entrance. That's just down the hall from where mm -hmm. I work. And he just decided to lay down on your table and die. The leader of the underground, the most wanted man in the country, just waltzes in and says, hook me up. I'm fading fast. I wish I could be more helpful. You know it's illegal to harbor a fugitive. Of course. So you know the penalties for aiding in the course of a terrorist event. I help program that penalty. I would never... So you realize that penalty would reduce your brain to little more than quivering gelatin.
Now, is there anything you want to tell us? Only that I hope you get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. I don't want any more terrorists in my booth. The investigation will remain open for the time being. In the interim, your security clearance is being revoked. You can sign in at the front desk in the meantime. Despite the rioting, this is the third closure of a major medical facility this year, adding yet another burden on the city's overtaxed public clinic. In other news, the National Security Force spearheaded a daring capture of rebel terrorist Mick Doroff today. While Security Chief and Presidential Hopeful Felix Medina insist he hoped to bring the rebel leader to trial, Doroff was slain when he violently resisted arrest, killing two officers. A moth. Better call headquarters. Uh, look, it's supposed to be a little boring. You'd probably be happy if somebody shot at us. We're going to stay up all night. He's going to get up and go to work in the morning. And all I'm going to get out of it is a stiff neck and hemorrhoids. scared me to death. Okay, move. Where are you? Search the room. Get up. One chance. What happened at the resort today? Um, you mean Dorf? <clears throat> Tell me everything he said before he died. He just, he just walked in and demanded to be hooked up to the system. That's all. Why would he want to be connected to the system? He didn't say. Look, I don't know anything. The security police interviewed you for three hours. Because they thought I could tell them something, but I couldn't tell them anything. I don't know anything. Hey, don't touch that. We have nothing to lose by killing you. I'm telling you the truth. He, he didn't say anything. But, but, but after he died, there was something funny in the computer. Go on. Uh, typically, after a session, all the, all the levels go back to normal. But after he died, it was a kind of rhythmic surge in the system. What does that mean? I don't know. I, but, 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 but uh, he brought a disc he made me use. Did it look like this? Yeah. I don't see these every day. Boot it up. I can't. My, my system won't handle this kind of disc. You'd have to go to the resort to... Well, let's go. We can't go to the resort. There's security all over the place. They'd, they'd think I was involved. You are. There you go. 
Yeah, living tonight? Yeah, man, it's a fine looking thing working with you today. Yeah, it's over there. All right, <laughs> take it. He just walked right in, gave me the disc, lay down on this table, and died. What about the energy surge you saw? Is it still there? Let's see what this does. system falling apart. I assigned two men to simply watch over the civil servant and they're murdered in cold blood. They didn't even draw their weapons! This isn't going to look good. What are we going to tell the committee? We're not going to tell anybody. Don't be absurd. But the disclosure directive, we're supposed to make all the details of our activity public. Why don't we also tell them about the cues? Wake up, moron. We haven't even found him yet. Sorry, sir. I must have panicked. Now, don't remember, you sound like a schoolgirl. Now, who do we have over at the resort? No one. They concluded the investigation two hours ago. You're kidding. No, sir. Send a team over there immediately. How could you leave the resort unguarded at a time like this? We're activating the queues in less than 36 hours. That's what that disc was for. It uploaded his brain into the system. Can you get him out? I think that's what this disc is supposed to do, but no, it's impossible. What do you mean? Oh, Dwarf's in the mainframe. Where the hell would I put him? No disc has that kind of capacity. You'd have to pull him into somebody's... What were you saying? That would be crazy. I've never done anything like it before. I'm not sure it can be done. I'd kill one of you if I tried to load your head with that kind of juice. Now we can't risk losing any more of our people. There's only 12 of us left. I'm glad, because I would be complete... You are going to receive the transfer. Me? I can't receive the transfer. I, I don't even know if it can be done. It... There won't be a discussion. Get busy. Okay. I've reconfigured the system to shunt everything internally powered into one pathway. When I give the word, I want you to shut off the main power source and at the same time hit that capacitor. Why should I turn off the power? Because I've dumped everything else from the computer's memory. According to the disk, whenever the power is shut off, the internal codes will instruct whatever's left to be saved into memory. Only the capacitor will absorb the material and shoot it into me. I think. You think? Either that or my head will explode. Okay. Pull the switch. Units, we have motion sensor activity in sector four. Unit six, we're on it. 
Mick. No. But I seem to have some of his memories. It's a little fuzzy. He was searching the system for something. Somebody's been uploading data, lots of data. He doesn't know what it's for, but... I have to log on to the mainframe. It's the only way to find out. Order's clear. Check each booth. Someone's coming. What part is clear, sir? Moving your dead. Drop. Let's just blast our way down the hallway. No, no, no. It's too late. The walls have sensors. Security's already on the way. They still haven't seen us. I, I know a back way out. All right, let's go. It's over. Your security operation has gotten completely out of control. Director Powell, if I may. You may not. Four months ago, you asked for an increase in expenditures, which was granted. You promised that the underground revolt would be crushed. Well, now it seems we're looking at something a little bit more serious. Two security officers were slain in the line of duty and you file no report. You approve surveillance without going through proper channels. And on your watch, two underground rebels are shot dead at the resort. Sir, I can explain everything. Well, you won't have the opportunity. You are being removed. Certainly, you, you, you don't hold me responsible for this. Mr. Chairman, I think it's unwise to act hastily in a situation like this. We simply have no conclusive evidence that Mr. Medina acted in anything but a proper and patriotic manner. He's targeted subversives and nonconformists. He's tracked the terrorist underground. It seems to me that... It seems to me you've said enough. If you have an objection, file a protest. I have given this government years of loyal service. Have I ever asked for anything in return? No. All I ask is to be left alone to do my job. And never before has our nation been faced with such a, a serious risk. Spare it your campaign rhetoric. We are through here. And so are you. I am a candidate for the presidency of this nation. I am a patriot. And you have no right. We can't afford a person like you, Medina. You're a tumor. You have to be removed. And don't let me see you within 50 yards of a security zone.
get anything out of the clerk. What was the uh, verdict? As we suspected, the old bastard removed me. We're finished. Just one day to go and it's all over with. Maybe not. Prepare the cues for final implementation. You may have found an ally. Can he be trusted? Maybe our only chance. Come in, Medina. Thank you for your very generous words at the hearings. Cut the bullshit. Let's talk business. What did you have in mind? Half. Half? Of what? Don't look so surprised. Half of whatever you take in illegally after the election. Bribes, kickbacks, everything. You don't miss a trick, do you? I possess a skill which has made all the difference in my political career. I can smell corruption from miles away. Some men reek of it. You, Felix, I could have found in the dark. Well, then you understand how important it is that I continue my work. Of course, I have a bit of a problem. Since Pal removed my security clearance and I need access to my files. I think I can help you with that. Taylor, I think this is the beginning of something very special. Whatever's going on with the system, we can't prove it from here. I have to go back to the resort, see if I can find a back door into the mainframe. Besides, they'll be suspicious if I don't go back to work. If you cross me, if it takes the rest of my life, I'll find you. I'm not sure Dorif would let me, even if I tried. Okay. I'll meet you at the waterworks at 8 o'clock. Gloria. What now? Well, I'm not sure whether I should... We're running out of time. He loved you. What are you talking about? Dorif. He loved you very much. I can feel it. I just thought you'd want to know. Welcome to the resort. I know I don't have my badge. I just told you that. But I've been walking past you now every day for three years. Surely one of those times you must have been awake. Our White House experience puts you in charge of lawmaking, social services, and, of course, the military. Some of our most popular fantasies involve travel to exotic towns. You know, these security guys are really starting to get on my nerves. What's your problem? Ah, uh, don't tell me. The stiff on the table gave you the jitters. Yeah, go figure. Look, just relax. Forget about it. We'll put in a couple of hours, get out of here around 12 o'clock. With all these security geeks around, nobody will ever know that we're missing. Look, Simon, I have to tell you something. You cheat at solitaire. In here. Middle deep. Do you know what you're doing? You're screwing with the mainframe of a government installation. That's as big a crime as they've invented. You get in a lot of trouble. Not if they don't find out what I did, and you're the only person I've told. Oh, great. Now I'm an accomplice. Thanks a lot. Simon, I didn't know what to do. I'm scared. And besides, what's with all this extra data anyway? What's it doing there? Oh! What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, I got a headache. Sorry, I didn't know anybody was in here. Oh, we were, um, checking the wires. Everything okay? Yeah. Uh, oh.
I'll tell you the rest of this later. Right now, I gotta get into the mainframe. You wanna help? No, I, um... I have appointments. Yeah, that's probably better. Not to arouse suspicion. I'll catch up to you later and fill you in. Yeah. Why don't you do that? Simon? Yeah. I want to thank you for your friendship. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have you around. Don't mention it. show you something that data it's being piggybacked onto resort sessions it's being dumped on everyone who passes through the... Simon it's for your own good You know, I don't think I will. You're out of your mind. Don't make me kill you. Not yet. I have something to ask you. There's no reason for threats. We're on the same side. We both want the same things. You just have to work from within the system. Shut up! Don't tell me what to do, you ancient withered slug. Your outdated idea of democracy has no place in this world today. You do not deserve to live. Wait. I'll make it easier for you. Just tell me what you want, and I'll arrange it. I don't need you anymore. Besides, you humiliated me, and that wasn't very nice. Medina, that was politics. What? <laughs> Just put the gun away and we'll forget all about it. I don't forget ever. Sit down. Sit. Sit. What are you going to do? If you looked real hard, you could find it. 
You know, I could get it restored by Senator Taylor, but... Oh, God, he insists on becoming a partner, and I'm just... I'm not much of a joiner. You, you know what I mean. Please, don't do this. You're not going to help me, are you? Medina, it's not too late. We can still work this out. I understand. It's all going to be all right. Don't worry. Hey, I'm not going to hurt you. Crying out loud, the security codes are right here. They were right on your desk. Network News Special Report. Our nation is in mourning this evening after learning of the brutal murder of committee chairman Zachary Powell. This resort employee is being sought in connection with the slaying of Powell, who had earlier come down hard on the underground. Felix Medina, newly reappointed head of security and Dark Horse presidential candidate, was at the scene and had this to say. We have all the evidence we need. He killed Powell in cold blood. If I hadn't witnessed it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have thought such cruelty possible. The underground is comprised of ruthless lunatics, and they must be stopped. In the name of our beloved Comrade Powell, I vow not to rest until this man is brought to justice. TV off. Anybody. What should we do about Taylor? He's been after me all day, wondering when we're going to make our next move. Contact him. Tell him to be here in an hour. What then? We don't need him anymore. Senator Powell was kind enough to reinstate my security clearance. I'll take care of Taylor. Get into the mainframe. Yes, but my session was interrupted before I finished. Damn it! All right, what happened? Well, somebody turned me in, and then it seemed like the whole place was after me. But who turned you in? My best friend. You told him? I thought he would understand. I thought he might help. This is unbelievable. We've got the entire security force looking for us, and you tell one of them everything about our operation? Are you insane? I'm confused. I don't know what thoughts are mine. What are Dorif's? His mind is still trying to tell me something about the resort, about the system, I... Like what? I don't know. But I do know that Felix Medina is a murderer. We already suspected that. Yeah, well now I know for certain, because he's saying that he saw me kill Powell. It's all over the news. Why would he want to kill Powell? 
If they're on the same side, what would he stand to gain by removing the old guy? No, no, I, I feel certain that they want very different things. Medina is, is hiding something from his superiors, a, a plan of some sort. I wish Dorf would have confided in me before he died. If something goes wrong with your mind transfer, we'll never know what he had planned. Yeah, well, maybe it's better that he... Oh, wow. Oh. Are you okay? What's happening? What's the matter? Can you hear me? You have good news. I've boosted all the power generators. We have 12 hours before systems sign on at 8 a.m. Everyone who's been to the resort in the last three months will get hit with the subliminal cues as soon as they log on to their home systems. Good. They'll all vote for me. Are you feeling better? Dora's mind. It was trying to uh, tell me something about the resort. It was, uh, he knew how the system was being used. We already know about the extra data, but who's behind it? What's it for? It's got to be Medina. That's why he grilled me in person after Dorf died in my booth. He had to make sure I didn't know anything. What is that bastard hiding? The elections. He's using the system to manipulate the elections. Is that possible? All the system is, is, is a, it's a giant subliminal stimulator. Uh, most of the programs we run just implant fantasies, but there's no reason you couldn't... Oh my God. The elections are tomorrow. It doesn't leave us much time. That's why Durif was sending me all those images of the resort. We have to disable the system before morning. The entire mainframe. That's what he was beginning to do when he was shot. We'll need explosives. Will this do? Wow! You come prepared. Out of necessity. I brought you some clothes. We'll need to change. You look ridiculous. Excuse me, sir. I think you should have this. I found it in Menno's booth. Menos, but you're dismissed. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Work faster. Sorry. What are you bothering me now with, Bennett? You'd better uh, look at this. What is it? I don't have time for this garbage. I just checked it out. It's a. Uh, Contents of a human brain. Durf's brain. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for... No smoking in government buildings. Bennett! You're rubbernecking. Well, it looks like our friend Minnow has killed again. What's he drawing? I don't know. There are two circles.
The energy that supports the system, where does it come from? Two power stations control the network grid. Right, those power stations are connected to how many system outlets? All of them, every single one. Right, right. Durf realized that if he could destroy both power stations, the entire system would crash. You don't have much time. Stay here. Input the remainder of the cues. I'm going to make sure the system stays online. This is it. Let's blow to the moon. Security alert. Security alert. What is it? There's a security alert at power station. Call a code red, full deployment. Send in a squad, secure the perimeter. I'm on my way. That'll hold. Set the timer for two minutes. Let's get the hell out of here. We have to blow off both charges at the same time. What do you mean? The explosives. Dorif knew that if he blew up just one station, the data would be saved to the main buffer. The only way to get rid of it forever is to blow up both stations at the same time. Well, it doesn't leave us much margin for error. All right, then. You stay here. I'll go set the other charges. After... Punch. Time to switch to plan B. Do I have any idea what plan B is? Do you think you could purge the data by getting back into the mainframe? No. Maybe, but the resort is swarming with security by now. It'd be suicide.
that, and we'll all be blown to hell. We have to disconnect the detonator. We must be halfway to the other station by now. Get over there with the unit while we disarm this. Go! <clears throat> Lay on the ground, nose in the dirt, and put your hands on your head. No. Do it now, or I'll kill you. In the dirt. I can't. Why not? Because if I do, this will explode. Why won't it open? Uh, give me your knife. Respond. Repeat. 1020 respond to base. Must be sleeping on the job. <laughs> Code red. Tactical alert. Man down. Where to now? Uh, the control room. This way. It's just here. What's going on out here? I don't know anything. I swear. It was... It was Medina. What was Medina? I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. That they've already installed and, and initialized. Well, then tell me where the data is so I can create some sort of block to the program. Well, just wait another hour. The program will start automatically and I can show you that. It'll be too late to stop Medina if we let the program start. Please don't kill me. I have worked so hard to get where I am. You have no idea what I've been through. I promise I won't turn you in. We'll, we'll give you amnesty. We'll let you slip away without prosecution. I'm begging you. Look, all you have to do... Why 
Why do you keep doing that? Why did you do that? He could have told us something. I don't think he had anything else to say. The shots came from down here. Okay, let's go. Oh, well, security are on the way. Maybe they heard the shots. shot me. You could have fallen on me. Let's go. Looks like the supply room. That means the control room is right down the hallway. All right, we should split up. I'll keep them busy for as long as I can down here. How much time do you need? Uh, a few minutes. How many? Five, ten? Ten. You've got five. How's the arm? Uh, it'll be okay. All right, when I hit the hallway and start firing, I want you to count to three and then head to the control room. Don't stop for anything. You're going to meet me there, right? Right? Just make sure you shut Felix's program down.
Simon. I knew you'd come here. Simon, I didn't kill Powell. No, you didn't. I followed up on what you told me about the uploaded data. There's a dozen terabytes of information ready to cut into the system at log on today. We have to find a way to get through their online security web. What about a worm? Nah, it's not strong enough. Wait. Wait, what if we use a worm to get inside and then initiate a mega virus? What program has that kind of power? <laughs> no program. We'll use Dirk's brain. program on my own brain. That ought to dump all non-resident data, including Dorf's mind, back into the computer. Then you'll have to link it to the worm and turn it loose on Medina's data. Well, what if Dorf pulls you in along with him? We don't have much time. Hit the switch. down <coughs> you see that icon that's Dorif. i pulled him out of my head and into the computer but how will you it's too late no no it's not watch the worm can't erase medina's data on its own but amplified by the power of Dorif's brain it's eating everything in its path they're gone the data's gone. Dora finally stopped them. Oh, God, you're hurt. Simon, help me get her to my booth. Hook her up, Simon. I know she's dying. Simon, please, just do it.
Everything's gonna be alright. I'm gonna take care of you, okay? You're gonna see a glowing red spot near the corner of your line of vision. I want you to concentrate on that. And focus on Duroth. Can you do that? They're together. All right, let's go right now. We're check the whole place, one door at a time. You gotta get out of here. Forget it. I'm not letting you take the heat for this on your own. Simon, the world is a fine place and worth fighting for. Somebody's gotta get the truth out. your buddy cal looks like he was nuts after all how'd you like to try to breathe through your socks he was always messing with the rules always complaining about how screwed up everything was he was bound to go postal sooner or later Access you get punched out a lot in bars take your best shot Billion gigs must have flown through here last night. That's not possible. Yes, it is. What's that? This is all we'll need to nail Medina. Medina? The guy outside said he was dead. Come on. It's a long story. In the 24 hours since the shooting death of former security chief and presidential hopeful Felix Medina, new evidence has surfaced which indicates that Medina himself may be implicated in a wide-ranging conspiracy to manipulate yesterday's election. Our news team has learned that resort employees have provided police with evidence purportedly linking Medina to the plot. At this hour, sources indicate that the unidentified resort employee being detained for Medina's death will not only be set free, but will be the key witness in the case.